good morning, but the night didn't go to plan because I was planning to fall asleep around 10 o'clock, but then at quarter past 11 the nurse came in and told me that they are going to take me for an MRI scan and some other tests, so in the end I was up until nearly 1 o'clock in the morning doing various tests, but anyway, once I got to bed I fell asleep straight away and it's now 6.25, they told me to have a shower, they took my blood pressure, etc. They've also put in a cannula and I don't know what else is going to happen because they told me I might be up for surgery between 8 and 9. I'm going to have a shower now because it's 7 o'clock and I should be ready before 8 the nurse told me. I don't know what is going to happen but anyway I'm gonna wash my face and have a shower then change into the hospital dressing gown. It's nearly 11 o'clock now. I have this dripping machine getting some fluids inside me because uh, I'm not supposed to be eating or drinking anything except for water so I drink some water every now and then but there is this salty whatever dripping into me I, I suppose the operation is a bit delayed now because we are nearly at 11 o'clock and I was expecting to be here around 8 but the nurse told me that the doctor is already here and they are just checking my blood in case I need oh, blood sorry, transfusion. Anyway, I don't think I can say much else. I, oh, actually, they took my blood pressure and it's 101 per 61 or something like 67. And that's not really good. It turns out it's too low. And I feel a bit like, I don't know how to explain, but I haven't eaten since yesterday. I hardly drink. I imagine my blood sugar levels are down to minus five and I'm not feeling very good. So anyway, I'm just looking forward to being in the operating theatre and getting it over and done with because I'm just fed up. Anyway, I'll come back later. Oh, that's not, that's not somebody at the door. Turns out the breakfast station is just outside my door so people tend to stop here every now and then. Well, what I was going to say I will try and check in before they take me down, but in case I cannot, then this may be, may be my last video for the day. Mr. Stapleton just been to see me and oh, there, there is this arrow on my face now pointing at the brain tumor. It's nearly 12 o'clock and he said I should be in just after lunch, so maybe 1 or 2 o'clock. So I hope it's going to be out of the way soon enough, because I'm a bit anxious now. Too worried about everything, waiting here, getting the drips in my arm and all the rest. So yeah, I just want it out of the way. And my blood pressure is really low. I feel a bit like the world is spinning around me. And I'm just, yeah, I just don't want to be here, I suppose. But uh, soon enough, I hope it will be all right. And I'll be all of here, back home, cycling and swimming. <laughs> right, well, maybe I'll check in one more time, but I'm not going to make any promises. Right, see you later, alligators. This is probably my last message for today. There have been lots of nurses coming and going, and even the anesthetician. And she said, I'll be up in about an hour and a half or two hours, because Mr. Stapleton has just started uh, patient number two, and I'm patient three on the list. And it will take about two hours when they are actually cutting me away. But the whole operation could take about three or four hours, because uh, they will make me fall asleep and then do the job and then need to wake me up, etc. So if I go in around two o'clock, I should be out around six or seven. Uh, 
Hello. This is me. Oh, I can't talk anymore.